Hello everyone, my name is Abigail Dyson. I'm a fourth degree black belt instructor and today I'm going to take you guys through a 15 minute hit style workout, full body. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. First up, we're going to warm up for a minute. Get your blood pumping. Let's start off with some jumping jacks. That's so good. Now this is my knees. We're going to move up. Let our body know we're getting ready to work out. And butt kicks. Back to jumping jacks. And butt kicks one time. And stretch it out. Hands down. Alright, let's get into it. Our first circuit, we are going to be doing something super fun. We're going to be squatting down. When you come up to the top, punch, punch. 30 seconds, ready, go. Come up on your toes on those punches, all the way down those squats. Think about a reverse punch, hitting those top two knuckles. Next exercise, 30 seconds. I'm going to go down the ground. Shoulder taps, 30 seconds. Ready, go. Touching that opposite hand to the shoulder here. Trying to keep that core nice and tight. Keep it slow. If you need to drop down to your knees, that's totally fine. Working on that core stability. You're going to keep your body not moving, holding as still as possible. Touching the opposite shoulder there. And going right back. We're gonna rest for 30 seconds. We can stretch. Then we'll do a repeat of that circuit. Stretch it out, just breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Drop. Jump back into that circuit. Starting off with our squats. Punch, punch, ready, go. All the way down those squats. That heart rate up. Your eyes are looking where those punches are going. Into our shoulder taps, starting right now. Ready? Go. All the way down, legs out. The further your legs out, the more stability you'll have there as well. The wider base of support. Touch. Breathe. Keeping that core engaged. Not moving a lot. Again, if you drop to your knees, totally fine. Still keep that core, that core engaged. Not moving. And let's rest. 30 seconds. You guys are doing great. Keep it up. Keep breathing. Big deep breaths in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Let your heart rate come back down. Stretch and breathe. Last time, we're gonna move through this circuit one more time. Ready, back to your squats, let's go. All the way down those squats, exploding down. And exploding up, right into those punches. Don't forget to breathe. more seconds, and then we're back to our shoulder taps. Ready, go. All the way down. Last time for this exercise. Legs out. Breathe. 
Keeping that core nice and tight. Keep breathing, almost done there. Feel yeah, it in your shoulders. Should be burning a little bit. That's okay, keep going. And time, rest. Last it done. Keep breathing. Take your nose out of your mouth. You are done with that circuit. Move on to the next circuit in just a little bit. Our next circuit is going to be our reverse lunge. We're gonna add some karate in there. Strong front kick. Let's go. Ready? Lunge back. Front kick. Right back into that reverse lunge again. You're gonna focus a lot on your balance. Good for your martial arts training. I'm gonna keep the same leg the whole time. And then I'm gonna switch to the next leg the next time around. If you wanna alternate and go one at a time, you can switch your legs, that's totally fine as well. Good, yeah, all right, we're going right into our next exercise. We're going to do angle knees. So work the core as well. So just pretend like you have your hands wrapped around somebody. And driving that knee up at an angle. Breathing. Slow it up into that knee. Like the core is moving down to our shin as your knee drives up. Same knee, we'll hold 30 seconds, and rest. Nicely done, halfway, not halfway, one third of the way through that. Breathe, stretch. Let your heart rate come back down. Big deep breaths in. We're gonna go right back to our reverse lunge with our front kick, and we're gonna switch legs, do the other leg this time. In five seconds. Ready, and let's go. Lunge back, gentle on that reverse lunge. Front kick, right back into that lunge. Rise up, working on that balance. And your front kick, same time. All the way behind the knees. Third time around, we will alternate between the two legs. And we're going to switch. Other knee now this time. Angle knee, ready, go. Right, driving it up. Work the core. We go a little faster. Great. Push off of the ground. Like we're pulling somebody down into that knee. Let's go. Almost done with this one. Then you can rest. And time. Hold it, stretch, and breathe. One more time through that circuit. And we're done. Deep breathe. Sometimes people tend to hold their breath, so make sure you breathe deeply as you know. I'll be mine. All right, starting back again in five seconds. This time we're gonna alternate between those two legs, switching reverse lunge, front kick, and we're right back onto the other side this time. Front kick, switch, switch, switch. Oh. Right through our angle knees. We'll switch every time this time. We'll try to speed it up a little bit. Get your heart rate up, please, Max. 30 seconds. Four meter. Drive the knee up into your chest. Keep the core tight. Still breathing. Couple seconds left. And time. Good job. Relax. 
breathe. Got one more circuit left. You guys can do it. Start. We're going to start off with an inchworm. We're going to go down into a push up and come back up. Here we go. And crawl all the way down. Once you get to a push up position, push up all the way back. And start again. All the way down. And back. Next exercise, we're going to work on our side kicks. All I want you to do is bring that knee into your chest. We're going to step on one side for right now. And it comes in, kick out, kick down, kick out. And just pushing that right heel. And just push each sideways. And we're going to bring out one leg. And just push the other side. Next round. Bring that knee into your chest first. Put on that side kick form. Bit lower. That's okay. Just kick down. That's fine as well. Five seconds left. For now. And time. Rest. Good job. Breathe. Thank you. Nose. Out your mouth. Two more times to the circuit. And you guys are done. Thank you. I got this picture in my closet. And go back to our inchworms down to our push ups. Here we go. All the way down, crawling all the way down, push up, and back. Stand all the way up. When you drop your knees on those push ups, totally fine. Keep your body moving. One more to go. And time. We're going to move on to our side kicks. We're going to do the other leg this time. Hands up. And then knee into your chest first. Put your heel in your head. You got it. That's going to be super high. Just keep your body moving. Bring that knee into your chest first. Burning out this leg. Great, keep going. Couple seconds left. And rest. Now you have one circuit left. One round to go, and we're done. Good job. Breathe. Stretch it out. That feels good. Almost done. Seconds, we're going to start with our push ups again. Get ready. Last one, best one. Ready? Go. All the way down. And we stay up all night. And when morning came, we made breakfast. All right, let's keep going. Keep going. Almost done. Time. All right, last exercise. We're going to be doing our side kicks. Both legs this time. Ready, go. One, bring it in. Other side. Two. Don't worry about kicking super high. I want you guys to keep your body moving. Push you with that heel, though. Body's all the way sideways. Push with that hip. Toes are sideways. Practicing your martial arts and working out too. Almost done, last couple seconds. Push. And time. Nicely done, guys. Let's cool it down. Well done. Okay, your heart rate back. 
down. Keep breathing up. Take your nose out your mouth. You're gonna cool down for a minute. Keep breathing though. Butterfly, stretch it out. Hold it. Go ahead and put both feet straight out in front of you. Stretch all the way forward. And time. Good job, guys.